Well, here's something from Yitzhak Rabin regarding the 67 war, which was launched by Israel against its Arab neighbors on the pretext that the Arabs were gathering to attack Israel. Israel struck first. You remember who it was that caught whose air force on the ground? It was the Israelis who shattered the Egyptian air force while that air force was on the ground, not the other way around. Right. Okay. So that, that really ought to suggest to any objective observer that the Israelis struck first. Otherwise, it would have been uh, Egyptian MiGs catching Israeli planes on the ground. But here we, get, here we are with Yitzhak Rabin, quote again, quote, I do not think Nasser wanted war. The two divisions he sent to the, Isra- to the Sinai would not have been sufficient to launch an offensive war. He knew it, and we knew it. That's Yitzhak Rabin, quoted in... Le Monde in 1968. And, and someday we'll, we'll stop hearing this lie about his, how Israel was attacked in 67. It's nice propaganda, but it's a lie. Okay, um, Don, thank you very much for your call. We appreciate it. Bye. And, um, and we actually should go into a break first, and we'll take your comments on that afterwards. So, Jonathan, let's go into the break right now. Folks, we're talking about the condition of Israel, looking at Gaza, and who belongs where, and obviously there's a lot of uh, different opinions going around, so uh, stay with us. This is Jonathan and Rick with Christian Questions on News Talk 102.3 FM, WXLM. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Christian Questions on News Talk 102.3 FM, WXLM. Our subject this segment, Do the Palestinians or Israel Belong in Gaza? To be a part of our program, call 860-442-6102. That's 442-6102 with special guest Ken Rawson. And, uh, Jonathan, we, uh, we're with Ken here. I'm in Edison, New Jersey with him. And, uh, uh, Ken, three things. Uh, Perhaps make a comment to wrap up that conversation with Don in the last segment, get back to what happened to the agriculture in Gaza, and then let's look at future events. All right, uh, quickly on uh, Don's point. Uh, I don't uh, contest the Rabin's uh, quotation. I knew Rabin. Rabin. Uh, I spent an hour and a half with him, the longest meeting I had. And uh, he had his reason for making that statement. I can quote, uh, we can quote statements from others, that there is no doubt that uh, Egypt was preparing for an attack. And uh, yes, Israel did strike first. Why? When Nasser demanded that the UN remove their forces. What could the reason be? Their forces were there to prevent a war between Egypt and Israel. Now, Nasser demanded that the forces be removed. So Israel, who, who started the war? Yes, Israel struck first, but in self-defense. It was a defensive first strike because the Egyptian and the Syrian armies and the Jordanian army were so overwhelmingly superior in number to Israel's forces that when a war was inevitable... Uh, Israel did what they had to do in self-defense and strike first. All right, now getting back to Gaza. Okay. Uh, what happened to the all the agricultural uh, equipment and farms and hothouses that were purchased by this uh, philanthropic Jewish group to be given to the Palestinians' uh, administration the first day after the IDF, the uh, Israeli Defense Forces, withdrew from Gaza, mobs of Palestinians just flooded the former settlements and they destroyed everything. They cut their own nose off. Here they were going to be given, and they were told ahead of time, the government was told ahead of time, the Palestinian administration was told ahead of time, that they were going to be given all of these farms that uh, were so thriving, and Israel uh, made millions of dollars on their own people destroyed them. There was complete chaos for three weeks. Now, the uh, Egyptian army was supposed to uh, patrol 
the uh, Philadelphia uh, corridor, uh, they didn't do anything. The Palestinians, uh, by the thousands, uh, rushed across the border, um, brought back uh, huge uh, quali- quantities of armament, and one of the amusing aspects is that over a hundred Egyptian men married Palestinian women at that time who crossed the border. Why? Because, you know, an Arab man, when he gets married, he marries a girl whose family has the highest and the most valuable dowries. Okay? <laughs> and the Palestinian families were more wealthy than the Egyptian families. And this is something that, you know, the, uh, isn't known. So that uh, it, it, it's a prize for a non-Palestinian heir to marry a Palestinian woman because he gets a huge dowry. Actually, the per capita income of the average uh, Palestinian is higher than the per capita income of the average uh, Arabs in the Arab states. That's the reality. Now, for three weeks, there was complete chaos. And to this day, there is still this anarchy in the Gaza state. Palestinians are kid, uh, are murdering Palestinians. There, 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 there's uh, rivalry between the different terrorist groups. There's r- rivalry between different Palestinian clans. And even uh, Palestinians are kidnapping uh, Palestinian uh, authority officials and demanding a ransom or demanding a job. I want work. Now, we'll, we'll get back to your, this, this person that we kidnapped that you, if you give uh, X number of us certain jobs. So it is just anarchy in Gaza at this point. Now, uh, what effect will this have on the West Bank? Well, the Palestinians feel they've, they've accomplished the giving up of a Gaza through their continual terrorism. So now they are planning continual terrorism in the West Bank in order to get the Israeli government to give up the West Bank. So you don't think then giving up Gaza is going to reduce terrorism at all? No. Before the disengagement took place, every Israeli general said that there will be more terrorism after Gaza is given up. The Secretary of Defense of, uh, or the Minister of Defense uh, of the Israeli uh, uh, Defense Forces said no, to be less. But two weeks after Gaza was given up, he switched his position and said, yes, there will be more terrorism in the West Bank because the Palestinians will feel that they got Gaza through the pressure of terrorism, they will get Israel to give up the West Bank through the pressure of terrorism. Okay, so what we have then is a pretty sad uh, end result up to this point, at any rate, uh, of the, the agriculture in Gaza, not to mention the people that were uh, that left their homes, uh, not to mention that the destruction that happened, not to mention that the fact that all of the synagogues that were left behind uh, were destroyed. Um, and 